Okay, girl. Small man rounded up a bunch of illegals, walked them out of town, and strung them up. There ain't been too many Federals coming through. Might Stop right where you are. Should have known you'd back out so soon. Forget that no cow engine. Ain't worth our time. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea but I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up it, ain't it? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. 
Get you back to the dock.
this shatter, don't you? Oh, oh, look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Pay with my body and my mind. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. Uh -huh. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Can I help you? Yep. Can I help you there? Sure. We're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and everywhere and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. 
My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for 
purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. Here you go, boy. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing this. I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hold it. Easy, Easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? Easy. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Aside from smelling funny. Hey, easy now. Easy there. Whoa. Easy. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is real. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy. Easy now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy. Easy there, and easy. 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 You're all right. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! I watch the What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! More coming this way! Out of the fields!
done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come here. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Hey. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Bad luck. What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. He was bad. Know how I slit his throat and ran away? Of course. That old windbag. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that we don't know yet. I, I know. I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like me. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. 
Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Josiah, how have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, 
Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Hello again, sir. Good Lord, it can't be worth it. Done. You're free across Lemoyne. Bye. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Ooh. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Show, but... Would you 
Would you see me something for me? I, I'm looking for a Mexican soprano. I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> Gentlemen, for the interruption, farewell. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. I order a Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne. We do here. Hey, 
Roger, watch, pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime, Bill. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. God damn it. I told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Ah, uh, trap door, huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? Hmm. Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Come on, man! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you! Ah! Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from oh, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now.
Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when the God. Come on. some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies, oh, they are for what pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. <laughs> oh.
Take it easy. Arthur. Hey. Thanks again for saving me in that cornfield. John. Same way we end up anywhere. Pearson? Hello, ladies. Uh, hey there, Miss no, Morgan. I mean, us. This situation. Look, I know I ain't acted right to you and the boy. Guess I can't make What it. are you reading? Oh, uh, just some silly romance. No. What could be silly about romance? Arthur Morgan. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, anyway, gonna do some sniffing around, uh, see if I can drum up some lead. Back to uh, the thing I was doing. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. What's the deal? Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. Ready? Let's 
get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook nose, you snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. If one of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. Mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really bury some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. They were on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. That wagon must be caught here. Them Greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them Greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do a talk. Hold it right there. Ah. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, and before the officials got there, okay, they said. OK, OK. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. 
disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <laughs> Why the plates you yeah. boys have got here? <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. It's 
This is a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! After you, sir. Yourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. Put hold this on off. You get it off. Go. I got the ring. Got some horses on the table. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. Let's go. Horses from the stables and get out of here. Damn it! No, we got trouble. Take cover. 
This is bloody madness! Careful, Marvin! Oh! God damn it! Four men up ahead! Goddamn mess! little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. 